<laughs> Welcome back to Little Snickers Podcast. I'm Michael fucking Rainey here with Cal Jala. Hey, bud. Jacob from Matera. Hey, hey. Danny Dubs. Hey. Good to be here with you guys. We just finished another successful live AMA. We did. Always a ton of fun. Thank you guys for joining us on the Patreon. Ask us anything. Uh, some sex stuff. No. Some killing stuff. Some weight issue stuff about me. <laughs> some Harry Styles stuff. Oh, somebody said something very mean about my body last week. Oh, oh, um, yeah. Someone called you floppy. floppy man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, can't mean what what it sounds like, right? I got some extra meat on me, man. It's, I don't know, dude. dude if, if one of us is floppy, I don't think they're going for you. I don't know, man. But who are they going for, John? Me. Oh. <laughs> You wish I was going to call you floppy, you motherfucker. Yeah. I'm the floppiest bitch you ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> I told you before that like, I'll, I'll usually only read YouTube comments to wake myself up in the morning because <laughs> I'll always find at least one that infuriates me. And, like, and that, I get you out of bed? So that, that one about me being floppy like hurt my feelings for a minute. And I was just like, why would they say that? And then I'm just like, all right. I, I talk about people all day on Twitter. <laughs> so and I'm doing for one. the worst. No, if it's anything, fine. anything, that's the cutest way to get called a uh, couple pounds over. Oh, it is kind of nice. Yeah. Sloppy. Yeah. But wasn't it followed by two other positive adjectives? I don't pay attention to those. <laughs> the- no, negative only. You know, um, my boy's brain's working. Brother, do you know uh, the Chicago Bulls documentary, The Last Dance? Uh-huh. I've never, nothing's ever resonated with me more in a documentary than when Michael Jordan said he takes shit personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think everything, everything, I'm fueled by hatred. Yeah. And that's, it's kind of what fucking gets me going. And it allows me to like push through things when I really don't want to get things. But like, I feel like a lot of times I'll manufacture things to just give myself the fuel to endure them or get through them or complete them when they're probably not rooted in reality. Yeah. Except your documentary is going to be you in a jail cell saying, (laughs) and when he called me floppy, I took that personally. And that's why (laughs) I went around the neighborhood and cut off all the rabbit's ears that I could find. I would Ain't nobody that floppy animals. around my ass. <laughs> that was my flu game. <laughs> All right, John, you ready to flip that coin? See if we're getting a Snickers episode right. or a Jokers. I'm going to try this Ecuadorian bad boy. Oh, Ooh. man. You know, I haven't had much luck with the OJ <laughs> Slammer. Uh, Jake, do me a favor. Put it in your mouth and spit it into John's uh, hand and then flip it. I don't want to put a coin in my mouth, Mike. Why not? You never had tried to get out of a DUI? <laughs> what? I, That's I, how I, you get I out know of you, DUI? This motherfucker sucks on rolls of pennies, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> When you're about to get pulled over for a possible DUI, Take you a grab a handful of change, penny out of your throw it in your mouth. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Are you serious? How I've, many DUIs do you think I got? Same. And I've been pulled over a lot. Mm-hmm. I got to start keeping change in my car. No, you got to keep it in your mouth, dumbass. You listen to a word we say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, officer. I just came from the bank. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, that one didn't even flip. <laughs> that was <laughs> the fix is in. It's wet. Yeah, we, we've been gambling this whole time. Ooh, that was a nice ping. Yeah, and, and Jake, ping. we got to turn you into a, a human coin star. Doesn't uh, count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> here we go. Stickers or jokers? You suck my ass. Oh, we did it again, John. I'm so sorry, man. We're gonna get Ooh. you one. Yeah, John's not gonna be here next week, so I have a feeling next week might be the week. I will lose my fucking mind if that happens. You gonna go Brian Laundry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll be fucking uh but I won't be separating my uh whites <laughs> and my <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> Wait, what did that guy do? <laughs> Not his laundry. He murdered someone. Yeah. I was just thinking about that today. That was like a year ago now, right? It was last summer. Yeah, it seems about right. And then he went into the, uh, oh, he went to Universal Hollywood Hard Nights. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Is that where he went? No. No, he fucking went to the Everglades. That's what I said. That's where I'd fucking go, man. Everglades? Everglades? No, if I ever killed somebody, I would just go to Disney and fucking Universal. Where would you try to stay if you were to stay overnight in Disney. If like you knew you could get caught if you go back to your hotel, you gotta stay overnight in Disney. My favorite hotel in Orlando is Carib Royale. No, you have to stay in the park. I don't want to stay in the park. All right, if I had to get caught. I don't John. All All right. right. If I had to, I really enjoyed Port Orleans. Motherfucker asked me fantasy questions every goddamn week and I answer them gleefully. I ask him one fucking Disney related. Yeah, he Disney. loves oh, Disney. Where would you hide? I don't want to stay in the park. <laughs> Jesus. 
Jesus, what a Mike. Fucking grump, dude. <laughs> Probably with the dwarves, you grumpy piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, it'll be it'll be in the Hall of Presidents with Mr. Clinton. Just oh, he think he's sucking Big Billy's Willie. I bet you. I bet you he is. Old slick Willie. <laughs> you be my guest and suck my dick, dude. <laughs> Yo, do you think Sleepy from the Seven Dwarfs was just on perks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anybody want to check that that fucking coffin? See if she's got any Newports. <laughs> It's my sleepy. <laughs> Wait, was he at a funeral or was Sleeping Beauty dead? It's Snow White. Oh, Snow White. Was there a funeral? In Wait, that scene? oh, I'm my bad. No, no, well, no. I, oh well, shit, my bad. I'm it starts. My doesn't it start cartoons. with her in the casket? It's like a buried alive match. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> <laughs> if you're kissing the sleeping ladies, like you're probably not just stopping at once. So he probably yeah. got Snow White and Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Prince Charming with a question mark at the end. <laughs> All right, y'all. Dude, who somebody did... guessed it tonight in the live AMA. Somebody asked when we're going to cover this guy that I'm about to talk about. Oh yeah, that was wild. It was yeah. pretty. It was a great guess, man. I feel like they could smell it in the air. You don't think they have um, visuals in your? They can't see you. Uh, I am wearing a belt buckle cam. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually just for getting head, but I'm using it for the show tonight. <laughs> Well, let me know if I should suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so this motherfucker is named Robert Hansen. Mm -bop. Don't, don't ring the yep. bell. Yeah, there you go. Mm -bop. His nickname was The Butcher Baker. Okay. Okay. Motherfucker, uh, jack of all trades, I, I Motherfucker was a... Sounds like he's making meat cakes. <laughs> Ooh, little shepherd's pie. Ooh. That's a good combo. You ever have shepherd's pie? Uh, it's got mashed potatoes. It's like mashed potato crust and mashed potatoes inside. The I think I have had it. Yeah. yeah, that sounds like something I would eat more of. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with a floppy physique like mine, <laughs> you stay eating shepherd's pie. All right, so this motherfucker was known as the butcher baker. Uh, his parents they owned a bakery, and he himself was a baker who went on to own a bakery. And the butcher part is got nothing to do with food. Unfortunately, Unfortunately. no. Yeah, he was fucking cookies up, man. Detectives just come in like, hi, can we get a birthday cake? And can you just put you're under arrest? <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I would even go so far as to say he's probably a serial crawler. <laughs> you know, Jake? I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> Damn it. I couldn't say donut right. I could uh, uh, forget it. You would have been such a king. I would have been. Right. Well, I'm going to Dunkin' tonight. <laughs> you just made that. For yeah, sure. yeah, that's where you're getting your runs from. It's Duncan. Yeah, it makes me shit. <laughs> so this motherfucker was born in Esterville, Iowa, February 15th, 1939. Ooh, oh, this is an old fella. Mm-hmm. Real All fucking right. creep, too. His father was from Denmark. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, he was from Denmark. Uh, his name was Christian, and his mother was named Edna. They were both highly religious, and they went to a Lutheran church, and they made him go every fucking week. Did you have to go every week? I went to Catholic school, but yeah. my parents did not force me like to go they to made church you go on to Sundays. Lutheran church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you? That rules. Yeah, I went to Catholic school and had to go to church every Sunday until I was 18. Damn, John. And even when I turned 18, my mom still tried to be like, uh, nah, you got to go until the end of high school. And I was like, fuck that. I don't, oh, know. I don't know who won that argument. I might have had to go for the next three months. But it's the reason I hate church and religion today. So. I hate it too. No good songs, just old hands you're touching. Mm -hmm. Some old peepees every now and again. Old what? Old peepees. From the priest? We had one diddler. I didn't have to suck him, though. I don't think we had anybody eight hours. We had a few, but one during my prime diddling time. Obviously, everybody knows that as a grade school kid mm -hmm. that you know the church is known for that, at least by the time we were in the 90s. But uh, we did have a... a priest that came in maybe we were in like you know prime uh goofing off age like probably like fourth grade and our, this guy had a stutter as a as a kid and his way to get through the stutter like the, the what the speech therapist taught him when he was a child was to touch his tongue to his upper lip to a child's penis <laughs> <laughs> so he would do this like twice a sentence <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> yeah so, i cannot believe that that guy did Dude, not fuck kids. this is fucking nuts 
again, you are a first class amateur detective because both Robert Hansen and his father Christian had pronounced stutters. Whoa, whoa, dude. Man, yeah. There's something in these beers, I'll tell you. It must be alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, his father, Christian, owned a fucking bakery, and he was a real fucking dickhead. And he would make old fucking Bob Hansen wake up at 2 a.m. to go work in the bakery before he went to fucking Christ. school. You gotta go to bed be- while kids are playing, dude. Like, that sucks. Yeah, very fucked up. Now, in 1942, they moved from Iowa to Richmond, California, which is north of Oakland. Mm-hmm. Not too long after that, they were like, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. The city's too fast-paced. They moved from California back to Iowa to a town called Pocahontas, Jake. Oh, dude, in the in the forties. Yes, they moved halfway across the country and back. Well, Idaho. <clears> yeah, but still, it's like yeah. you know, they, yeah, close to a thousand miles, probably. They lasted roughly six years. That's like a reverse grapes of wrath. <laughs> it's the wine of wrath. <laughs> you right, said Jake. The wine of wrath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real Steinbeck yeah. guy. Yeah. Gave it a real... <laughs> All right, so. Uh, yeah, this motherfucker was getting up at 2 a.m. every day, and he did okay in school. So, I mean, considering you, you have to wake up that fucking early, then go to school. Yeah. I think just doing okay in school is pretty fucking good. Did he do okay or occur? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry. Did I miss something? No. Yeah, Jake's got a stutter now, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> oh, dude, one weird thing that his dad would do to him was... Bob fucking Hansen was left-handed and his dad wasn't having it, so he would make him do everything with his right hand. Did he tie his left hand behind his back? That was old-fashioned. They would said it was like from the devil, right? Yeah. I know they would do that, yeah. yeah. Ben Simmons. A couple of lefties over here. Oh, yeah, brother. Jake, are you righty or lefty? Righty. Get the yeah. fuck away from me. Oh, Danny, what are you, righty? righty. All right. But Stay I jerk off with my left. <laughs> yes. Jack is off with your left. No. <laughs> do you oh, really? Looks- I, really, you know, Bob Lefty, or are you uh, <clears throat> ambidex? Yeah, I, I I switch it. I'm a switch hitter. Bob dexterous. Yeah, yeah. That shit's weird to me. What doing both? No, well, I know at I know, the same time. I know that's Butterly fucking... said he does a backhand. Yeah, which all is all odd. the time. Yeah, I don't know about all the time, but Western style every time. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, if you're a big guy, man, that's a that's a good move. Why? A big penis man or a big both statured man? <laughs> both. Are you doing it? Yeah. Is it so you have your thumb down, free to explore? No, not to fucking explore. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. Joke. That's, <laughs> the, that's from the George Bush Will Ferrell. Huh? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry I stole that joke. Oh, uh, <laughs> as long as you get the apology out. That's, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't uh, steal a joke with a straight face. So his dad hated when he jacked off with his left hand. So he made it right. dad? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he goes upside down? <laughs> But just imagine, like, your dad's got a pronounced stutter and you have one and your dad gets mad at you. Like, how long does that fucking argument last? <laughs> so he did, like, learn how to do everything right hand. He would make him do everything with his right hand, yeah. Okay. That's crazy. But I mentioned Ben Simmons' dad did the same shit with him. Um, well, that guy fucking sucks, so. I can't stay mad at him, though. Why? What? I don't hate Ben Simmons, man. I feel bad for him at this point. Does he shoot left or right, or is he good with I think he's left now. Well, he don't shoot at all. Oh, yeah, I don't think he (laughs) But That's what we're talking about. Damn, I do hate him. Never mind. (laughs) (laughs) And on top of this shit, Bob Hansen's got severe acne. Damn. So he stutters hard, and he fucking pimples hard, too. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wait, this is kind of funny, too. So he gets bullied relentlessly in school from both boys and girls. And on top of this shit, uh, when he graduates in 1957, in the yearbook, they spell his name wrong. Damn. With a stutter? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of hyphens <laughs> wait what how did they spell it h-a-n-s-o-n it was his E-N. is spelled h-a-n-s-e-n damn no respect none at all <laughs> so he stays a virgin throughout high school after That's high school uncommon i know i did it i know you did pal <laughs> he eventually goes into the army reserves and he's stationed at fort Dix, and i wow. went there a few times dude where so is it? you parallel yeah Wow. Well, that he didn't get any pussy and he was in Fort Dix. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, Mike. Yeah, he had gotten pussy. Well, he, he was a ma- Fort You were a Marine, though. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I was. I had some pussy when I, before I went in the Marines. I Weird. had pussy. I had one pussy, I think. He went to the drive thru in Mexico. Where is Fort Dix? Texas? No, New Jersey. Right by, <laughs> right ah. by Fort Taint. 
<laughs> I do get this. Uh, I thought this was very funny that they even had this award, but apparently at Fort Dix, they had an award back then called Soldier of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That kind of rules. And if you want Soldier of the Week, you got an all-expense paid trip to New York City for the weekend. That's great. Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. And you could bring a friend, too. So when he won Soldier of the Week, he brought one of his buddies. And the first thing they did when they got to New York was they got a couple of hookers, Jake. That's what you do. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the big apple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know why they call it that? Because an apple is a nickname. Because they all have Adam's apples. (laughs) (laughs) Start spreading your cheeks. I'm eating today. All right. When he gets out of the reserves, he ends up getting involved in something weird. I believe this organization that he gets involved in is like the ROTC but it's described as the Pocahontas Junior Police. That doesn't sound nearly as tough. No. <clears throat> but he is a drill instructor for the Pocahontas Junior Police. It sounds like a way that your grandfather would describe a gay kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a roast battle. <laughs> yeah, white kid was asking for you. You know, the Pocahontas kind of junior police fellow. <laughs> <laughs> but get this. He gets a girlfriend. They sound like they wear bandanas around their neck. They do, yeah. Yeah. When one of them gets killed in duty, they just switch it to the other side. (laughs) So he's got a girlfriend named Phoebe, which is a very attractive name. I like that name, too. I do, too. You ever had a girlfriend named Phoebe? No. Have you? You try and get one with me? (laughs) Yeah. That would be so fun if the prostitute we get is called Phoebe. Yeah, if we just swipe on uh, whatever the tender for prostitutes is. Mm-hmm. Danny Dubs, can we get a prostitute ourselves since, uh, since I'm cut out of this prostitute Yeah, equation? this is Lefty's only prostitution, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Damn. I couldn't bring up a, an auto We're blow. left-handed. She's right pussied, so it only, <laughs> it only Everything fits, Jake. <laughs> yeah. All right, now at this point, he's out of high school by, I think, like three years, but he's still hanging out with high school kids. <laughs> a little strange. Yeah, that is weird. Was he hanging out with these kids when they were freshmen in high school and he was a senior? Dude. No. I don't get that. What? I don't get the hanging out after you're gone thing. It's real weirdo shit. I mean, Dude, it's like always been looked at as weirdo like My whole life, I I leave high school. You even go to a I football leave, game. I don't even, yeah, I don't go back. You yeah. don't, a job, you don't go back and visit. I went to my sister's graduation and that was the only time I ever went back to high school. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever go back to a job to visit to say hi? Um, that's even worse loser shit that's weird right yeah. well we, we worked at a golf course like a bunch that's, of people yeah. it was like a rotating yeah. group of dudes so like even the guys that worked there the summer before would come and just be like yo can i fucking get a cart and go play golf you know yeah I mean? that's kind of different we weren't going to just fucking swing your lanyard and ask a <laughs> cute girl what she's working that day yeah exactly yeah yeah it's fucked up man i wouldn't do that <clears throat> all right dude so in addition to hanging with high school kids he's becoming angry and angrier and angrier all right and most of his anger is directed at his old high school. And he hates fucking school and he hates anybody associated with school. So what do you think he does? Well, I hope he doesn't shoot it up. He doesn't. He sets. <laughs> <laughs> Great delivery. He sets a barn on fire that houses school buses. I like that. Three of the school buses perish. Perish? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the first three victims. They left behind four short buses. <laughs> but, dude, at the time, too, this is especially fucked up because he's a volunteer firefighter. Damn. It's old school firefighter tricks right there. Mm-hmm. Why were the buses kept indoors? I don't know. That's weird. I don't know that it was indoors, but it sounds like more of a shed. Okay. To preserve them, maybe? like maybe I guess, like, the Iowa winters can like get pretty... Carport or something. Yeah. Could be. Um, well, and this is three years after he... Is already out of high school. Yep. Mike, were these bluebirds? <laughs> what? That's, that's a bus company. That's oh, a, it is. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Read a fucking bus, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just blows through the stop sign. Just <laughs> wrecks a kid. Yeah. Bluebirds, man. So, so he set this shit on fire and he's like, fuck this. I'm going to continue to be a bad boy. He's also got it in for cops, too. He does not like cops. So you would get along with him, John. Yeah, no shit. They're going to arrest you for the fires. <laughs> He uh, has a special hard on for the police chief, this guy, Police Chief Wiseman. One day, Police Chief Wiseman comes out to his patrol car and recognizes that someone has slashed his seat. Oh, we got inside. Wait, mm-hmm. so he has a hard on for the police, but he was also a junior police? He was a drill instructor for the junior police. Of the Pocahontas junior police. 
And this guy's name is Wiseman. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do they do besides help old ladies cross the street? Like, it's never had to report anywhere. They probably just enable child sexual abuse. (laughs) It does sound like something a diddler who has good organizational skills would put into play. Yeah, after he gets booted from the Boy Scouts, he's like, yeah. Well, how else can I have little boys jingling cans of change in front of a supermarket? <laughs> all right, so he sets this shit on fire. He slashes the cop's fucking front seat, and then also he devises a plan to blow up the chief's house. Whoa. He doesn't get to do that, though, because on May 29th, 1961, he is charged with arson for the school bus fires. How did he fucking possibly get caught in 1961? What had happened was he had an accomplice. And after, Ratted. brother, so what had happened was the big event in town that night was a school basketball game and everybody in town was going there. So they figured this was going to be the perfect night to set all this shit on fire. While everybody's at the game, he and his boy go to set the shit on fire. They do that. And then he gives his boy a dollar to get into the basketball game. So they have an alibi. Yeah. But the buddy smart smells like smoke and gasoline. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Who's winning? (laughs) So you're kind of on fire right now. (laughs) Eventually that that dude starts talking and word gets around that fucking Hanson and this fucking basketball gasoline dickhead. True. I bet you I know who it was. Who was it? Probably the crossing guard. It's probably a crossing chard. What do you think, Jake? Yeah, maybe. All right. Dude, he's charged with arson, <laughs> but he only spends three days in jail because his mother bails him out. Why do you think she bails him out? To give him a good smack. She does not want him to miss church. Wow. He nice. starts to go even after high school. Yep. So I just because he lives at... He didn't graduate church. <laughs> I guess you can't. I guess some kids never will. So get this shit. His mother bails him out because she wants him to go to church the next day. And when he gets out, remember, he's in love. So he gets married that night. My God. Imagine having that bad of a bitch that she stays with you through your bus fire charges. <laughs> through three days of jail. It's just bus, <laughs> yeah. it's just bus fire. Uh, after they get married, they take a honeymoon in Florida. Mm. Like no us. way. Yeah. How'd they get there? Bus? <laughs> Flaming bus. Yeah. That would be cool. That's what Greyhound should do is just set the motherfucker on fire as soon as they take off. <laughs> Uh, what what do they do in Florida? What where do they? I fucked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> is that a town? Is that near Ocala? <laughs> yeah, fucked a lot is right next to Celebration. <laughs> they get back from their honeymoon, and uh, he's got to face his charges. He eventually pleads guilty for the arson again. For the arson. Oh, uh, he just got bailed out. Right, he just got bailed game. out. But this is fucked up. When he pleads guilty, his wife leaves him. Damn. Damn. Dude, what a not a bad bitch. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. He said something very funny. A mad bitch. During his trial, they asked him why he did it, and he says, I hated the school with a divine passion. <laughs> <laughs> was he bullied? He, he any- was, yeah. Okay. Dude, yeah. he had severe acne and stutter yeah. and probably a little ass dick, too. So he really wanted to lay on, lay Damn, on fire dude. the people, not mm-hmm. the structure. Yeah. The True. parallels are insane, Mike. Mm-hmm. It's, it's insane. I'm catching up, Light baby. Switch King. His sentence is three years in Anamosa. Do you remember which one of our stinkers was also at Anamosa? Sharp bow. No, he ended up building a golf course there, a miniature golf course. Um, Man. Freaking, uh, what's his name? Vern Troyer. (laughs) (laughs) Was it Gacy? It was John Wayne Gacy. Nice. Good for you, Jake. Thank See, you. you do have a memory. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you looked it up, you piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. His wife leaves him. His parents are so embarrassed by his conviction that they sell their bakery. Imagine doing something so fucked up that your dad can't make cookies. <laughs> you ever do that, Jake? Yeah, all the time, man. That's very funny that they moved towns. Mm-hmm. I heard a story one time about a kid who shit his pants so bad in school <laughs> that the family moved. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a good parallel. <laughs> what brings you to Duluth? <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
So when he's in prison, he sees a psychiatrist and he makes the unfortunate mistake of being honest with the psychiatrist. Oh, no. He tells the psychiatrist that his plan was to blow up the town water tower, blow up cops' homes, shoot out cop lights, and... Um, Is that like on top of the car? Cop yeah. Lights? Kind of funny. Yeah. I hope you have a good aim. He just it, had headaches. <laughs> I can see Epilepsy. that. Epilepsy. Yeah. <laughs> and the cop says, or yeah, the cop. The uh, psychiatrist uh, diagnoses him with an infantile personality. Oh, they don't even do that anymore. No, man. They call, you, they call you a little ass baby. <laughs> Let's give you a diaper and try to make you tell your problems. And he just put powder on your asshole. Oh, maybe he just thought he was a baby because he couldn't talk. Maybe. No, baby. Do you have a stutter? You have a speech impediment too? Do I? Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw uh accidental soft R in there every once in a while if I'm you know got a couple of beers on me. <laughs> what about you, Jake? Did he say soft R? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. That's all I wanted to that was the only question I had. Yeah, I'm actually incapable of hard R's. <laughs> <laughs> um, I pick up your slack. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people say that when they eat pussy, like they spell the alphabet and shit like that. <laughs> my I just scream the N-word into my wife's <laughs> pussy the whole time. <laughs> She does not enjoy it. <laughs> Her asshole's so big, it just ends up coming right back to me. <laughs> it's like the whispering wall. <laughs> Recall. <laughs> Jews shove prayers into it. <laughs> this poor lady, she's upstairs just sleeping. <laughs> I'm downstairs right. roasting you're, her pussy. You're going to watch this with her tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I will, man. We, this is one of the things that we like to do together. We watch the little stingers back. But, uh, Dan, can you edit this out when you send me that version? Please? <laughs> oh, this is good, though. When he's in prison, he gets speech therapy, so he's starting to speak a lot better. Okay. The parents had to sell the bakery. They don't just give up, though. They <clears throat> end up buying a resort within Chippewa National Forest in Minnesota. Sounds like a good business plan. It does. And in May 1963, old Bobby Hansen gets released from jail, and they give him a job at the resort. Paint Unfortunately, his job was the fire starter. <laughs> <laughs> he's painting fucking boats. Uh, he's taking care of cabins. He's doing uh, tour guide shit. Damn, nice. it's, it's Ozark. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. Yeah. And he meets his eventual wife, a lady by the name of Darla. Now, that's a nice name. For a lady that stays with you while you're in jail. She probably had that good pussy, too. What do you think? <laughs> what kind of pussy do you think Darla has? Um, she had that little rascal pussy. Mm. Yeah, kind of I'd pussy your grandma rides around on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's pretty darlicious. <laughs> <laughs> what, what name do you think got the best pussy? Regina. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's a trap if we don't say anything but our spouse's Just say name. your wife's name, you yeah. fucking coward. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's the thing. Just say, just dox yourself right now. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I don't know. I don't, can't think of one. Bernice Jake? No, not Bernice. Maybe Gladys. Teresa? Yeah. I don't know, man. Gladys is only fucked to make kids. <laughs> <laughs> And they are horny. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got a big wallet. <laughs> Fucking Gladys. Mike, what's your um, good pussy name? Ooh, I would go with Phoebe. Okay. Some some tight pussy. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you have any other Phoebes that you've ever heard of besides the one from earlier? You got my hip shaking right now. I know. I don't know if you that. You better get something else shaking. I don't know. I don't know any Phoebe's. Um, besides from Friends and the lady from earlier. I don't. But it's oh Phoebe, Phoebe Cates. Yeah, it's a that's why I was yeah. probably thinking of that. Who's that? The lady from Fast Times that gets out of the pool and oh, famous makes Bruno Judge Major. Reinhold jerk off. Yeah. What Phoebe's short for? Famous boner maker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
P.H. Famous. <laughs> All right, so old Darla's four years younger, and she is one of the cabin cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> this nasty bitch. Oh, she dusting off the corners. Mm-hmm. Oh, she going for the cobwebs. <laughs> is that pledge I see, or is she? Wait, never mind. Okay, now we're going to have to hear what you were trying to go for. I was trying to say, is, it, is that a pledge I see, or is that a, a, a dust, dusty ass? I'm about to hit us with it, Jake. I'm yeah. about to dust your ass. <laughs> come on, you got uh, it. Come on now, forget it. Land of the bird. No, this bird is this bird is still flying. Land the bird in my mouth, Jake. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> this bird. I'm, I'm a baby bird, and I'm hungry. I'm, no, Spit at my mouth, you fucking piece of shit! Do it. Is that pledge, or you just you just get that shine? Mm. Right. Well, yeah. We'll try it again. All right. No work on it. Mm. I'll come got, back. I have a list. You got that Lysol dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can go walk around the park for a while. And <laughs> yeah. <think about> it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So this nasty bitch is cleaning cabins and going to the University of Iowa. Don't call her nasty. She Why? sounds like a good good lady. I don't know, buddy. Now well, get this. You know more than I do, so she I might do. get nasty. No, not too much, man. I tell you who is about to get nasty, and that's old Bobby Hansen. Oh no. Ooh. This motherfucker's about to become a little stealing ass. Ah. Oh. <laughs> he starts stealing bikes. He starts stealing radios. He starts stealing sporting goods. Anything this motherfucker can get his dirty little hands on. Is he just like walking by people's yards and taking what's in front of the house? Well, he likes going in the stores. He's going into a sporting and goods taking store. Shit. Yep. Putting on a full football uniform and pads <laughs> and getting in three point stance and sprinting out the door. Calling an audible. John, you're not far off. Uh, one of the things that he gets arrested for is walking to a men's clothier, putting a suit on, and walking out with it. Nice. Yeah, pretty That's cool. That's how sick. you do it. Yeah. He yeah. put his dirty clothes on the mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> a potato sack. <laughs> he also gets busted for stealing fishing gear. Uh, but he ends up having those charges dropped. Do you ever steal anything, Mike? Yeah, I had a stealing phase. Uh, I used to steal CDs the most. Yeah, you? I stole a candy necklace before, and uh, I was young. Even your thefts are innocent, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I stole a candy necklace. My mom was like, "You can't have it," and I stole. I shoved it in my pocket. There's a deli right up the street from our house. I was like, I was in grade school. She saw you do it. No, she didn't see me do it. Caught you after. Yeah. yeah. I did the thing where you like grab it, you kind of like shove it up your, your asshole. Yeah, yeah, Richard Garrett. <laughs> Make your girlfriend shit it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I got home and I ran, for some reason, I ran into my sister's room to eat it because it was only a three bedroom house. So I'm like, I run into my sister's room and I close the door. And I'm like indulging in this fucking candy necklace. I'm like, oh, it's so fucking Ooh, good. One of the Boy. worst treats possible. <laughs> then, yeah. And then I hear a noise and I look out the window and there's a cop next door. Get the fuck out. Oh, I start crying. Uninvolved with you. Uninvolved. Yeah. But to me. Also eating a candy necklace. <laughs> <laughs> he followed the trail. Uh, but yeah. He's putting candy cuffs on the neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> but I, at that moment, I was like, oh my God. I was like, this life crime is just not for me. Oh, Jake. Yeah. And then your mom caught you? No, she never caught me. Oh. I'm admitting to this now. Before this is my oh god I'm so sorry Mrs. Matera this is the full confession didn't CDs all have like a a long things on them thing on yeah yeah they had a long ass thing what'd you do how'd you get it open I didn't I just shoved it down the front of my pants oh it didn't go off it was just it didn't go off to make it hard to hide um I never had any issues with it going off I used to steal CDs from the wall in Springfield Mall and I stole CDs from y'all ever go to Ocean City New Jersey. There used to be a music shop on that boardwalk. Mm-hmm. Those are my stealing places. Okay. So you were uh, not even stealing by the time FYE replaced the wall. No. You, it, that phase was gone. Yeah. Good for you. Doesn't seem to have lasted very long. No. So were you stealing CDs when they had that little like bar inside of the like booklet and stuff like that? Or inside the back of the CD cases? Uh, that they had to I don't rub remember if those were ever yeah. in there. What did the rubbing do? Deactivate it or something? Yeah, I think so. How could that possibly? I never work? got stopped for anything. It might have gone off, but we just kept walking. The, wait, the only time I did get stopped, I didn't even steal anything yet. Or no, I did steal yeah. something, but the guy confronted me about it. But he he was kind of cool about it. Um, it was at the wall, and a guy confronted me and said that he knew what I was doing, and that he's going to walk away, and that I should put back whatever I took. And I did. And then later that night, I got drunk with my buddies, and like we he went back, back to fight him, but. Yeah. 
the shift had changed and nobody was there to fight for us. So you guys got your ass beat by a fucking yeah. A couple guys got pizza. arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, served them up. Two of my buddies got arrested for Dan- trying to fight. Who? No, they weren't fighting. It was for being drunk in public. How drunk were they? They were fucking arrested? pretty drunk. Damn. Yeah. They tried to fuck a build a bear. <laughs> it's dude. It's so weird to be drunk in a place where uh, there's no other drunk people. Like being at, drunk at the mall is fucking weird. Dude, uh, you know? it was the Springfield Mall where our girl Sylvie Segrist oh, right. killed all those people last week. So we were wilding out in there too. Well, she did that in the 1980s, but we did cover her story last mm-hmm. week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so I was stealing. I'm trying I to mean, think about stealing anything else. Last week. So uh, I'm still, did you? I'm still stealing big time. Oh, yeah, bro. You know, Wait, most of the shit limitations. Is free. <laughs> I used to steal from Bingo when I worked there. Just cash? Yeah. Yeah. God, I love stealing cold, hard cash. Too. Oh, I loved it, baby. Nobody ever questioned yeah. anything. I think at a certain point, they kind of just assumed everybody was stealing. Would you look at all the money and be like, be mine, and put it in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> from you, wild dog. Oh, dude, so this motherfucker, uh, yeah, he, he steals the fucking suit. The last thing that I think he got caught stealing was a softball. Wow. Those lesbian wow. security guards do not play. I was going to say, yeah. Did he have a fucking field hockey stick shoved up his ass, too? <laughs> <laughs> when he got arrested that time, uh, the cop who arrested him was like, dude, why are you always stealing? <laughs> and he says that he damn near ejaculates when he gets away with stealing. Oh, I like that. I do, too. That yeah. was like a direct quote. Damn near ejaculates. Damn near ejaculates. Okay, well, I, now I understood why you stole the parking cone that you're holding in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> All and, right, why don't you calm that thing down and we'll get you get you in the car. In 1967, his wife graduates from the University of Iowa. They're like, "All right, maybe we should spread our wings out a little bit." So they decide to pack up and head out to Alaska. Be on their way out there, they stop on the west coast. And they chill at a, is it Grand Teton? Oh yeah. National yeah, Park. Um, that's in like Montana or uh, Wyoming, Wyoming or something. Yeah. Okay. Damn, they're gonna go to Alaska. They're so they drive tra- through Canada get to get to Alaska, or they're flying. I don't know. That's crazy. Why did they settle on Alaska? Did I just black out for a second? I, I don't know. I think they just went there. And when they get there, he gets a cake decorator job. So I don't know that that's a job that you go out there specifically for. So right, yeah. I mean, you either go out there to own one hundred thousand acres of land. Mm-hmm. And live on your own and never go into town, or yeah. there's you do one of the four things that people needed to do in the actual town, and I guess cake decorating is one of them. He also hunts a lot, he, and he becomes a very good bow hunter. And eventually, he holds the record for the killing of the fourth largest mountain goat in the Kenai Peninsula. <laughs> Specific <laughs> peninsula, his, dude. Get this. His name was Dale. After after he's busted and convicted of all these crimes, they nullify his record. Oh my god! Not even an asterisk. Nope. They just take his ass out of the fucking that motherfucker. Mountain goat record books. That's not something you can. They can take. I didn't like it. You. I didn't like it. They did it. Penn State. Uh, 1971, he and his wife welcomed their first child. It is a little girl named Christy. So now he's a dad, John. Um, Take okay. his father. That's sweet. It is. Uh, right after he becomes a dad, he starts becoming a real bad boy. He stopped at a red light. He looks to his right. He sees a lady in another car. She smiles politely back at him. And he's like, all right, I have to follow this lady. Oh, boy. This poor woman, she gets home and... Uh, there's a knock on her door a short time later. She answers the door. She recognizes him as the guy who was smiling at her from the car. He, she's like, can I help you? He's like, yeah, I'm just looking for my friend's apartment. I know he lives here. He's like, do you mind if I come in and use your phone book? And she agrees to let him come in and use the phone book. All right. Eventually, he ends up leaving and nothing happens then. But then it's a couple days later. He follows her out to the parking lot again. And he holds her at gunpoint to get into his fucking car. A certain point, he gets out. She starts screaming, and eventually people call the cops. The cops come. He had taken off, but he's only hiding in the bushes, so eventually the cops do find him. And they ask him what he's doing in the bushes, and he says he's hunting moose. 
Does it work? Yeah, was he? It does not. No, he gets arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. And he did, did he actually strike the lady? Or? He was holding her at gunpoint. Okay. And she didn't comply, and thankfully she was able to get away. So he gets busted for assault with a deadly weapon, and he gets let out until his trial. Uh, doesn't have to be in jail. No. Yeah. They arrest him, they charge him with the shit, and they you know, enough people come forward to say, he's a pretty good guy, he might have just done something stupid. He didn't have to say, like, put up a big bail or anything. He did not know. Dude, would you ever go to bat for someone, like if they have that no. kind of serious The, the guy who's mysteriously new in town that just fucking <laughs> started yeah. fucking... Uh, Assaulting women at one point. I bet you who spoke up was everyone who had a birthday around the corner. <laughs> they just need their cake set. <laughs> Damn, he's the best goddamn cake decorator in town. <laughs> so shortly after he's released, he kidnaps a woman who's a sex Jesus. worker at this place called the Nevada Cafe. He kidnaps her. He he holds her at gunpoint. And she's in the back seat of his car as he's driving. He doesn't tell her where he's taking her. He's just driving in the middle of fucking buttfuck Alaska. They stop a few times, and she's trying to to reason with him to get him to just stop and do anything, just to give herself buy herself some more time. Mm-hmm. She's like, "Do you mind if I have a cigarette?" He's like, "Yeah, I'll stop and get you some cigarettes." So he pulls over, and he goes into a store. He buys two cigarettes, and uh, he takes her to a motel where he ends up raping her. And one of the things that she said stood out about him was he had a deformed penis. Wow. <sighs> No wonder um, the first lady divorced or left him. Jake, what do you think was wrong with his pee-pee? I don't know, man. Does it have a scar? I don't know either. No. Oh. It wasn't described very well. No? Mm-mm. Doesn't look like a um, like a short snake that ate a big bunny. John C. Riley's face? No. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a nice thing to say to him. <laughs> I feel so bad. I like John C. Riley so much, man. That was so yeah, that's, called, that's called an ooey cox. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. he sexually assaults this woman in the hotel takes her back out takes her back outside holds her at gunpoint again tells her to run like he's going to hunt her Jesus. she's like I'm not going to do that oh, she's man. like if you let me go I'm not going to tell anybody she's like I promise you he's like you're going to go to the cops she's like I fucking hate cops meanwhile her dad is a chief of police so she legit hates the cops <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and she's like all right listen go through my wallet you can write down my fucking information know where i live i promise you i'm not going to call the cops he does just that he writes down her her name and address lets her go eventually lets her go she's a sex worker and yes. her dad's a police the police chief yep so she's probably been arrested and released a thousand times with no record well i don't know i think Town, small town like that, you only get arrested once until every cop knows what the uh, the deal is. You don't bring in the fucking chief's daughter, yeah, with a mouthful of cum and say, "Hey, we found her again. <laughs> we found her again behind Happy Harry's making Harry happy." You know. You think eventually you just got to rub the cum down her throat like a dog getting a pill? Like, come on, your dad is fucking in the next room. Swallow it. She pretends, and then as soon as you're not looking, she spits it out. You got to pick it up and put it back down her throat. It's not easy being the child of a police officer. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so right after that, this motherfucker is still on the hunt. He ends up. This is the first instance of him saying, run. This is, and I yeah. Will chase you. He does this shit often. Now, I'm going to tell that, you this. I can't believe that woman refused. That's like a pretty fucking ballsy. ballsy. Yeah. Yeah. Move. He's running yeah. into some, some pretty He's badass bad bitches bitch in Alaska. Alaska. Dude, yeah. there's no fucking, yeah. like, you don't live in Alaska and be a fucking wimp. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. He's yeah. like fucking has two guns on them at all times. Yeah, he's like, why isn't any of this working? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, all told, he commits at least 17 murders. Whoa. At least. And over 30 rapes. Jesus Christ, all in this like small town? In Alaska? No, he gets around Alaska. Now, one of the things that he does, he commits insurance fraud. He tells an insurance company that his home was broken into and a bunch of his hunting trophies were stolen. Meaning like fucking, uh, what do they call it when you, taxidermy. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. When yeah, you yeah. taxidermy shit, like most okay, of that's so been stolen. Is financial, uh, like you, a receipt for that. Right. Like a trophy. Is yes. Like there's no fucking. It's not like a bowling value. trophy. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So he tells him this, and eventually, like, he pulls off the scheme, and he gets a lot of fucking money. He gets so much fucking money that he's able to buy himself a plane. How much did he? How many fucking stuffed bears did he say he had, <laughs> dude? Yeah, he had nine teddies. <laughs> He's able to fly this fucking plane all over the place, and he'll take victims into the plane and just fly out to the middle of fucking nowhere. Just him and the victim? Him and the victim. And what? Just How go do do pick that? up a chick and say, hey, you want to go for a fucking plane ride? Most of the time, it's sex workers, so he's able to lure them pretty easily. Sometimes it'll start off with a ride in his car, and he'll take them to a weird place, and then eventually end up to where wherever the fuck he had his plane parked. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of weird shit. So this motherfucker really gets around, whether it's car or a fucking plane. God damn. Is he just like, he can't be that fucking skilled if this is his first time like flying and like doesn't, Alaska's massive. So he just sees a place. He's like, oh, he probably land, just I'll lands. Land yeah. There. Has no idea where he's going when he takes off. He just crashes no. it every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison Ford ass motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, we crashed and this prostitute ended up in handcuffs. But this one lady, uh, Celia Van Zanten is her name. They find her in a ravine, and she's found with her hands tied behind her back. Now, one of the most fucked up aspects of this was she was left for dead, but she ends up succumbing due to hypothermia. Yeah. Damn. Now, she she was in this ravine, but she had been able to scale her way back up a bit. Hands behind her back. Hands behind her back before she just fucking collapsed and fell backwards. Side of exposure. Yep. Now, when this happened, word started getting around that, you know, old Bobby Hansen might have been responsible for this. So he's eventually arrested for the rape of Barbara Fields because she tells her father what happened. And the dad calls the police chief in the town where it happened and said, look, my daughter said this happened. Do you have anybody in town that might fit this description? Eventually, they figure out that it's Bobby Hansen. They pick him up. 1971, he's arrested. And he's sentenced to five years for rape, but they can't prove a definitive link to the murder of the lady that was found in the ravine. He gets away with that. And even though he's been he's been sentenced to five years, he only serves six months of that rape sentence. How is that possible? Judges be letting people out. God damn. Damn. He doesn't get in trouble for a while, close to five years. Judge had a cake he needed decorated. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my wife's 40th birthday. I need your help. He doesn't get in trouble for almost another five years. What do you think he gets busted for? Rape? Some kind of uh, illegal hunting mishap. He gets caught stealing a chainsaw. <laughs> That's wow. a big thing to fit down your pants. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing was it was running when he was apprehended. <laughs> All right, from 1980 to 1982, he kills at least 10 women. And these women are either shot or stabbed, and most of them are found near a body of water. All around Alaska? Yes. All abused before the murders, too? Probably fucked Jake. Yeah. So he was flying wherever he wanted. He could go anywhere. Go any small town. Yep. Pick Get a, a lot of miles. Yep. Yeah. He's now free to roam <laughs> around the... Never mind. Now, once the these bodies start, pi- <laughs> start piling up, uh, the Alaskan State Police contact the FBI... And do you know John Douglas from Mindhunter? No. I think that's one of the Mindhunter. That's the guy, yeah, the guy who's also in Frozen, I think. Right? He's that guy. This is one guy who can't let it go, Jake. (laughs) So he's an FBI profiler. Do I have him right? Was that that the Mindhunter guy? Yeah. All right, so they ask him what this fucking guy's profile is. He says he's a hunter. He definitely has low self-esteem. He collects souvenirs from his victims, and he speaks with a stutter. And he adds that considering how far apart these victims are spaced he's definitely flying by plane yeah because no one could cover that ground in a car right yeah yeah huh so they got a lot of info on him i mean i'm sure thousands of people in alaska own their own little plane true but it's like that's at least got to help mm-hmm. right yeah yeah and especially with the first lady seeing him even though they couldn't nail him on that one i think all the info that she was able to give mm-hmm. helped out with creating this profile I think the thing we're glazing over here, I mean, is that he's impressive. He's learning new skills all the time. His cake decorator, now he's flying planes. 
you know, hunting, winning trophies. The, yeah, the hunting and the flying. You That's know, impressive. Without YouTube, how the fuck do you even learn how to do that? Yeah. <laughs> you got to have somebody <laughs> teach you. Exactly. You got to be able to capable of learning. You think he's in jail making toilet cakes? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're nasty. That's what he wants. <laughs> 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 now his, his next victim which ends up biting him in the ass is this prostitute named cindy paulson who agrees to suck his penis for 200 dollars. she literally bit him in the ass <laughs> 1980 something 200 dollars for a fucking dome Dude, shot a, a con- he, economy was he's high not gonna 80s. pay the money so of course he agrees to it <laughs> Well, that's some high class. She better be like a goddamn freaking Uber or you know, a Dyson or a freaking uh, Orc. You would make a great judge. Did anybody ever tell you that? Yeah, you you a dirt devil. You're the first. There you go. Dirt what did devil. you say, Jake? So he's a he's dirt a, devil. He's a dirty ass devil. He had a dirt devil growing up. That's how I know he was a poor. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you baited me in this hand, dirt devil. So, Do dirt devils ever end up working? No. Or are they just for poor people to say they have a vacuum? <laughs> John, are you smoking your shirt again? Yeah. <laughs> Getting myself high, as you call it. I don't understand why that's so weird to you. Doesn't that, is that a phrase you've ever heard somebody use? <coughs> he's, getting he's getting himself, himself high. high. It's either he's getting high. Yeah, he's getting high. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm not getting odd. somebody else high. All right. Thank he's you. over there. Getting Thanks for not high. fucking backing down mm-hmm. to this fucking. To the what? boss man, to this the big boss guy. floppy, <laughs> this floppy body fucking F A G G Y. Because he likes to. That's there we why. go. Yeah, dude, I'll never forget one of my favorite moments in class. Remember how you used to read out loud during reading class, mm-hmm. and on the side of the page it would have an italicized word and the definition of that word. I had flipped ahead as we're reading this story. And one of the words was faggot, meaning a bundle of sticks. Mm-hmm. And why you, are they still making us say that? You know, it's like they're baiting us into that. They are. Yeah. And I could not believe what I was seeing. And none of the other kids had picked up on it yet because I was looking a few pages ahead. So you were waiting? I felt like how a bomber must feel. <laughs> Knowing that that was about to hit. You're fucking a minute and a half from everybody losing their mind. <laughs> <laughs> the page turns. He's like, popcorn me. Popcorn me. <laughs> when that fucker hit, man. Who had to say it? Do you remember? I don't. Did they say it without pausing? Oh, no. They laughed. Okay. The, it was like. Dude, it was like fucking deaf comedy jam. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody loses. Place that. erupted. Uh, and what? Uh, how did the teacher even like try to restore orders you pretty much just put on a video at that point right? <laughs> you gotta go get the cart and hope yeah. you're still not laughing tomorrow when they <laughs> she, come in she has the cart ready to go she's waiting to hit play <laughs> yeah you better hope that when you turn on the tv it's not on the bravo channel <laughs> <laughs> there's a bundle of sticks right there <laughs> man what a memory all right so at this point the fucking uh, indiana state police are on in this motherfucker and on october 27th Wait. night Indiana? I'm sorry, Alaska State, okay. please. I'm thinking about Delphi, my brother. Oh, man. Okay. We're close to solving that case. You already know. John and I laid the groundwork a few summers ago, and they're getting closer now. Yeah, I believe it. Mm-hmm. So, October 27th, 1983. We found these Pizza Hut boxes all over the crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, wait. So, that $200 hooker that he picks up, uh, he ends up letting her live, too. Now, if a woman is able to convince him that she's not going to go to the police. This happens a few times. It happens at least twice. Damn. And I believe it happened a couple more times. They get away. That's wild. How many fucking murderers yeah. actually have that in them to be like, I believe you. I, th- I like the cut of your jib, lady. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Put your heels back on. I'm giving you a ride. John, my interpretation of that was that he hated cops so much that sometimes these ladies might out hate cop hate him. Be like, damn, bitch, that's you really the, do be hating cops. That's the hook. Right. They're fucking prostitutes. Cops arrest them. Mm-hmm. Therefore, they also hate cops so they can commiserate on that. And that ends up saving their lives. Wow. Yeah. So that's wild. Keep that in mind. So when you're getting butt fucked in jail, just tell your butt fucker, I hate him too. And then... He will come into my colon and just douse my gerbil. Guards! (laughs) (laughs) 
so she's able to provide a lot of valuable info and the uh, Alaskan State Police are able to track him down. Oh, there was a great movie. It was called The uh, The Frozen Ground. Do you remember that one? Yeah. 2013, John Cusack fucking... Uh, John Cusack played Robert Hansen. Nicholas Cage played this detective. I think his name is Detective Glenn Foth or something it's like that. It's a Cage one? It is. And guess who plays the $200 prostitute? Um... Who's that one dumb slut that I You're close. Patricia, Patricia Arquette. No. Bruce Bach. No. A new age hot lady. New age. Mm. Nicole Kidman? Nope. Younger. What do you, what do you think new age means? Hotter. Like, uh, Jennifer Lawrence. <clears throat> no. One more guess. Am I in the right zone? New age is, is that like, a good dis- Not new really. Age hot? John, oh. in a bookstore, new age means mystical. In a bookstore? Yeah. This is like this is like a fucking bookstore to you, dumbass. <laughs> he is writing a book. He is writing a, ton, a book. A ton of books behind him. Yes, <laughs> they're just for show. I pull it out and then it's a revolving door. <laughs> and I just jack off behind the, the bookcase. <laughs> just, yeah, newer than Jennifer Lawrence. She was on the Disney Channel. Um, Selena Gomez. No, Vanessa Hudgens. Who? Same thing. She plays the two hundred dollar movie. Career. I've seen some of it. Um, I'm gonna watch it. I can't wait. Yeah, I forgot all about it. I can't believe this guy got a movie all these years later. He did. I don't want to jump. Is it a Disney Channel movie? (laughs) At the after school, uh, we have to edit out what I just. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to my life, buddy. John's after school special needs. (laughs) Um, Okay, I'm gonna watch that movie. I can't. Is Cage? That's like around Cage is like um, Renaissance. Right. Um, like around, that's a few years Wicker removed Man. from National. Yeah. Event. What is that movie? Was National like, Treasure. Was, yeah. like, was that like? Uh, it was like 2009. Court of Call Two. Or uh, remember that one where he, he's, he's there's a few years where he's just screaming on camera for a lot of his roles. Bees. Yeah. Wicker Man. Yeah. Bees. All right, we're gonna edit this part out too. I guess there's a whole minute and a half the, since I just did that one thing. We'll edit that out. So the state police eventually they go to they get a search warrant for Robert Hansen's place. They're pretty sure it's him that's been committing all these fucking murders, and they have enough to at least go check for the assaults and the kidnaps. They get a search warrant for his house. They dick around and they end up finding this map behind his headboard, which has X's on certain spots, and the X's line up with places where the police have found bodies. Damn it, he did it himself. He did, he damn did it himself. Dumbass. He did. So initially, he's not charged with any of the murders. Initially, he's charged with assault, kidnapping, theft, and insurance fraud. But this is just to get him in jail. It is. What, what did he have marked on the map? In X. Bodies. Oh, an X. See, if he was smart, he would have drawn like diamonds, like black diamonds. But I'm just making a new ski trail. You know? That way it's like, okay, he's clearly not a killer with these X's, but diamonds. He's a. You think he was going to make one ski resort out of the entire state of Alaska? <laughs> I mean, the guy was dumb, but you think it's he was a, just dumb? It's a diamond, buddy. It's not a pearl or whatever the cheaper ones are. Huh? What? The black diamond? Those are hard trails. They can go all around Alaska. What about a pearl? I don't, is that the other one? Nope. I only do diamonds. That's how I know. <laughs> Jake, if you ever even went into a fucking... Put on a ski. I bet you would die. I actually, I had my leg <laughs> cardboarded up. Huh? I thought I broke my leg. I didn't. didn't Tubing. <laughs> Tubing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't get off the ski lift. They had to stop it. No yeah. way. No, oh. no. Come on, dude. Uh, Jake, everything <laughs> about, Jake, everything about you screams trapped on a ski lift. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Um, no, it was a snowboarding thing. Yeah. You almost snapped your knee doing that? Yeah. yeah. I tried to do a jump. And that was a big mistake. I couldn't even keep the board straight. You know how your legs drift? Oh, no, Jake. Uh, yeah. I, like, went over it fucking sideways like a dickhead. And, like, rolled because your feet are stuck in the thing. Yeah. And then they just wrapped my f- leg in a cardboard box, probably from, like, an old refrigerator. And what, then to get you down the mountain? To, yeah, to just wear for the rest of the day. It was fine. It wasn't broken. Oh. But, man, I really, I, I milked it like it was a battle wound. Are you sure they didn't give you a cardboard snowboard? 
That's where you fucked up. You think that's yeah, what happened? That's probably what happened. You probably yeah. misremember it, and now, now, yeah, and now that Mike said that, we know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers go over here chewing up fucking cud. <laughs> But yo, I did. Some ladies did buy me some hot chocolate that day. No Aww. way. Yeah. Marshmallows. It was I, uh, yeah, melt marshmallows. Come on, uh, come on, come on. Were they trying to see your penis? I think they wanted to sign my cardboard cast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> they were, that, that day I turned camel back into camel toe. You know what Ooh, I mean? I love camel back. Yeah. That's my favorite place yeah. to snowboard. Man, I wish you fucked those ladies. And when you're in the bedroom, you poured hot chocolate down in front of yourself so they can drink it. <laughs> Did you ever think about doing that? Now I am. Yeah. Now I haven't stopped thinking about it. <laughs> like if some people use candle wax, I use hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Swiss. <laughs> it still hardens them. <laughs> <laughs> so this motherfucker eventually admits the four murders and he shows them 17 additional graves that they had not known about. Damn. But he's only copping to four. How does this make sense? All right. So... One theory regarding why he admits the sum and shows them shows them a few. They have evidence on four of them. He admits to at least seventeen, but he's probably responsible for not more for a lot more. One of the theories is that he readily admitted to the prostitute murders because he felt as though they were less than. Whereas the chicks that weren't prostitutes, he might have felt bad about killing them. Yeah. Because so they had value in his eyes. Yeah. Viewpoint. Eventually, he's convicted uh, and sentenced to 461 years with no parole. Damn, man. For for the 17 they got him on? or the, Just the four. four. Yep. That's a pretty heavy... Alaska don't fuck around up there. They do not. God damn. And he is sent to Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. How far is that? I don't know how far that is from us, but... Now, why the fuck would they send him all the way... I don't know, but they eventually end up sending him back to Alaska for an undisclosed health reason. Hmm. And he pl- so he pleaded guilty too for the four murders. Yes. Okay, so there was no trial. He didn't have like a defense, like your honor. I thought this was into the wild, and they were just like, no. Oh, not- I guess you're not allowed to chase hookers into the fucking snow anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's not really the last frontier, <clears throat> then, is it? <laughs> uh, I wonder if it was uh, allergies. Or sinuses that he had to go back to that last. That does part. sound like a common prisoner problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I be, it's too sniffy here. <laughs> uh, I regret to inform you both that he is no longer with us. When did he oh. pass? August twenty first, two thousand fourteen. Happy birthday and hell, you piece of shit. Hey, he didn't make it. How did he die? Diarrhea. Shut up! Really? No. Oh. He had diarrhea. Then they make him made him run. Do you know how he died? I don't. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but he was in Alaska when. No fucking idea. I got tired at the end. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> yeah. I fell asleep for the last part, but it's, yeah. That's insane. Where'd He's you get dead? all your info on this guy? Wikipedia? Uh, mostly your mom's pussy. Okay, he is good. Guy, guys. <laughs> this guy needs a nap. Danny Darks. We're all out of meat snacks. Can we? Can, <laughs> yeah, you are out of meat snacks. He is getting angry. Um, can we find out how he died? And can we take guesses on how he died in prison? Is that something we can do, Mike? Well, he was old as fuck. 39 yeah. to 14. That's got it almost uh, oh, that's, yeah. 90. 75. 75. Yeah. Well, I was going to say almost. Man, I wish I had a fucking Pepsi Nitro to wash this shit down. Ooh, I would have brought you that if I knew you wanted it. I always want it, man. Well, then I'll always bring it. It's like pussy for me. <laughs> pussy. You only drink it in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> pussy and Family Matters episodes. Drank a little Nitro. P-E-F-P-E. P-E-P-E-P. <laughs> yeah. I just drank a little Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say heart attack. Did you get a picture of this guy? What was his stature like? He looked like a nice, handsome man. He could survive in Alaska. He wasn't some kind of fat fuck. No, he was in decent shape, yeah. I'm He's a decent hunter. He died of cancer. Broken heart, I'm going with. All right. We are going to find out the it answer. It just now. says, due to natural causes from lingering health conditions. Ah, what a shitty... That is... No wonder you fell asleep. 
I don't like that. It seems that's cellmate AIDS. Yeah, it sounds like he got fucked to death. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some um, something went down and they're covering it up. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a federal prison. Oh cover damn! Cover like a cover up? Yeah, I'm gonna dig into this. I want to figure out what happened. Where are you living at, Danny? You think I can't dig into shit? <laughs> you think I won't immediately forget about it as soon as I Let's get see up you dig right chair? now, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want me to dig? Give me a fucking shovel. I'll dig the china right now. Dig into my sneaker right now. Yeah, yeah, there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah. nasty ass. Yeah, you think I won't dig. <laughs> let, let, Jake, let Jake suck that finger now. No, no. Get the Jake. fuck out of here. No. It's a dare, Jake. No, dude. You, you, you think you got sneaky feet? Yeah. Do you have stinky feet? Sometimes, I'm yeah. not sucking anybody's finger. Are you crazy? Suck my finger Get and if my the penis fuck moves, out I'll here. be gay forever. <laughs> <laughs> do it. No. You could make me gay forever with one suck. <clears throat> Jake, do you want him it to be, be gay just prank. temporarily? It would be a good prank, but I'm not going to do it. Nope. All right, Jake, suck my dick and see how hard <laughs> his finger gets. <laughs> Guys. Deal? If you're not going to pull his finger, suck my dick. Wait, I, I'll pull his finger, no problem. Here, come here. That's not the out. deal. You know you what said, I said. Uh, no, you said pull, bro. You said pull. Jake, what are you going to suck? Dealer's choice. Chad says pull. Chad? No, not Chad. Who? Get, get these dudes off your brain. It's chat. There's no chat. There's no chat after the fact. <laughs> right now, they're all time stamping it. You know how they time Just stamp it? Suck our dicks, you I'm fucking, not fucking loser. Time stamp our nuts, it. brother. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the wild on both y'all asses. Ooh, ooh! I'm gonna get it. A- <laughs> I'm gonna timestamp the time I come, Jake. Oh yeah, well, I'm gonna fucking put your both your belly fingers in a Chinese finger trap. Mm. You give me a, a Chris McHandless job <laughs> with your mouth. <laughs> you you talking like a real Alexander Super Tramp right now? <laughs> I know that shit's on the dollar menu. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> if if you were Dick. Was a fast food item? What would it be? <laughs> Wawa mozzarella stick, Mike. Mm. <laughs> your pee pee. That's why it takes four of them to fill your wife. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I feel no. I always yeah. fucking make fun of your mom's pussy. Okay. Well, then it was about your wife. All right. Uh, <laughs> Um, fast food. I would have to say a Burger King old school nugget. Remember when they were long? Ooh. But uh, then not quite the, the finger Johns we got yeah. going on. What are they called now? Chicken sticks or something? Fries. Chicken fries. Uh, I'm not that thin. Danny Get does the I know that here. you say your dick is that thin, but I find it hard to believe. Yeah. No, he's got a long skinny one. I believe it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what he's about your? Pinocchio what dick. about your famous penis? My famous penis is probably like a uh, red burrito. Oh yeah, that's probably a good, probably a good one. Because you always be fucking on a period, huh? Because <laughs> he's I, nasty I, like I, that. I kill that. No, <laughs> um, yeah, mine's more of a quesadilla. <laughs> Jake turns the sheets into a painting. <laughs> what about your penis? Ooh, I would call my pee pee a spice and chicken sandwich. That's all right. I didn't know we could go out of uh, the realm of shapes. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have to rethink mine then. <laughs> you were doing the actual scale. I thought we were doing shapes. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a terrible accident Ooh. as a child. <laughs> Sonic corn dog. <clears throat> there we go. Now we're talking. Oh, that's a good one, Jake. Thank you. I'll let you guys taste it later. Mm. Do not make well. me hungry and horny at the same time. <laughs> I'll suck that dog off your goddamn hips. <laughs> 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 you think you had a stinky doggy before, brother? <laughs> oh, man. Jake, what's the stinkiest your doggy's ever been? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, right now is not a great time. No. A week of no air doggy. conditioning. That doggy barking, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> woof, woof. John, how are your dogs doing? You know what? None of your business. I don't know what you're about to say about them, but I don't want you to say it. Uh, you know I'm going to bring it back to your mom's pussy, so don't even worry about them dogs. Yeah, I'll cut it off with the fucking pass. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Ask Jake about his dog. <laughs> He's doing good. <laughs> After you teach him to give you paw, I'm going to teach him to give me a head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be... You'd be the funniest dude at the dog park. <laughs> <laughs> give me ball. All right, now give me head. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm John, by the way. What's your name? <laughs> yeah, I saw your uh, your one cat was getting laser pointed. Head. Yeah, he laser does. Laser pointer action. Yeah, he does. Does he like that? He, he seemed to yeah, be playing does. it pretty cool. Yeah, they do like it a lot. Uh, they he like, wasn't really bouncing at it, but he was aware of it. Yeah. Yeah. Does he eventually jump for it? Not really, man. I think he, he just enjoys it. Okay. After a couple times when you don't get it, I got to imagine. You don't fall for the trick that much anymore. No, it's like you'll like a TV show that you could have one in the background. It's like, but you're not doing fucking backflips because it's on. Yeah. yeah. Entourage, baby. Mm-hmm. Urkel, baby. A what? Urkel. You watch Urkel in the background? I have not, no. Yeah, that is a tough one to watch in the background. It's like, okay. your eyes are transfixed on that motherfucker. Why did you say Urkel? Because it's fucking 1130 at night. <laughs> and we've been sitting in a 95 degree room for four hours a now. Fucking are the windows open? It's one so nice is. out. <laughs> I'm starting to see visions. What are you trying to see for me? Wait till you start hearing that sounds. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I'm seeing everything. Jake, what's the sound that makes you the horniest? Silence. <laughs> All right. Everybody quiet down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see this guy's rage and go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably silence. John, what makes your wiener wiggle? What sounds make me horny? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That is it. All right, he didn't even have to put my finger in his mouth. I'll tell you what. Move. Can you try this? Because I have a feeling this is going to make you hornier than just hearing those simple words. Can you open the zipper on your pants? And Jake, can you scream that into his pants? Why do you want me to scream in his pants? I want to see how hard we can make These John. These are Jenko's. What, what would would you scream in them if they were Jenkos, Jake? Jenk, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it's working. Get closer. Jake, scream in, please. Come closer. <sighs> I hate you guys so much. You know that, right? Put your head right around uh-huh. here. <laughs> oh yeah. No, come on, man. Come on, that's as close as I'm oh, getting. No. Not no, really good in there. Dude, I could probably fit a couple of gerbils in there. <laughs> yeah, I bet you could, you fucking freak. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John, how exciting would that be if you went to like Ronald McDonald House and just unzipped those and gerbils came flying out of there? <laughs> how excited would I be or how excited would the entire restaurant be? Ronald McDonald House isn't a restaurant. <laughs> it's a <laughs> cancer kid ward. Oh, well. Then. <laughs> hey, Mike, what does that dollar menu look like? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it would be the same reaction uh, either way. Uh, unfortunately, most of those children aren't going to live long enough to be supersized. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh man! You tell me there's not one Big Mac in the bunch. All right. <laughs> you guys are going to hell. Yeah. Jake, that's what happens when you don't scream in his pants. He says bad shit like this. So go ahead and get your scream on. No, I'm not. He um, already said it. He said what? To, you heard what he said. That was that wasn't my. Uh, oh, he needs to hear my wiener whistle. I don't play like that. You better zip that up right now. Uh, it's a train whistle that gets me hard. <laughs> I just realized it. <laughs> I just remember that's why I don't take the train anymore. <laughs> I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to be like, why, do, why haven't I taken the train? Steam or coal? <laughs> taking the bus used to make me hard. Because of the vibrations? Mm-hmm. You ever get laid on a bus? No. You? Have you? <laughs> yeah. Have you really? Not on a public bus. What bus? What kind of bus? The bang bus? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I lived in LA for a while. Um, no, it was like a, uh, a coach bus, back row, full of Costa Ricans. John. Yeah, baby. Mm. Horny. <laughs> so you, you were Devil. close to freaking. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. It took me a second to realize how dumb that was. <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> there we go. Now Jake's showing up. John, did you have those pants on when you fucked him? <laughs> um, maybe. Mm-hmm. When I fucked him, good one. You guys are <laughs> double calling me gay. Okay, pretty funny. <laughs> Would you get laid on a public bus? Would you ever be that horny? Yeah. I picked up a tooth on a bus, so yeah, I would probably... Whose tooth? I don't know. <laughs> oh, or trolley, the guy sorry. you fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You knocked the teeth out of him. Three gays. Did you hear that suction sound? I did hear so it. It sounds like when I pull my <laughs> penis out of your mouth. <laughs> Uh, John, can man. you move your your uh, mic arm again? That's what it sounds like when I pull Jake's penis out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my penis is in, this is a little uh, <laughs> a human fentipede, <laughs> <laughs> human fentipede. <laughs> <laughs> was was that another riddle that I came up with? How many, um, are we still recording? No. Mm-mm. Okay. No, we stopped. How many, um, gay men do you think it would take to have <laughs> a, your penis and the man in front of you all the way into a circle until there's a man's penis inside your butt? Like around the world or in a room? In the smallest amount of penises and uh, humans that you would need. Am I allowed to have some scratch paper for this? Um, and sniff. Let's get a non scratch paper answer first, and then you can get a more One, two, accurate description. Three, four. I, I'm confused. So can, so, can you go in a circle? It has to go uh, in a circle. Yeah. In a room? Yeah, yeah. The Eight, least guys. Amount. Eight guys. That's, I think that was my answer. I mean, yeah. I was going to say four me's. Because of the angle. Oh, uh, you yeah. know what I mean? It can't yeah. be that too sharp of an angle on your own wiener or on the man's on, inside in front of you, you know? Danny, you look like you have an answer. Did you want to give one? No, I was just trying to figure it out from a mathematical sense. Like, Eight if the percent, average yeah. male weight is 200 pounds, the average penis length is Two inches. five inches, let's six call, inches. Let's call it an even six. Let's six call, inches. So that's giving a lot of inches there. Uh, Plus, you got to get through the butt cheeks. So mm-hmm. it yeah. depends. It does have to be inserted. What's the race and, of these yeah, people? Penetration. The race? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's a good, good. Yeah. I feel like that really. Man. I think it would go six to eight, depending on race. All right. Up to 12. Eight white, two black. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's got to be at least three black, Mike. <laughs> Do you understand what we're talking about here, Jake? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it out. Jake's thinking about that chicken sandwich you had last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can think about it and then come up with an answer when I get back from vacation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think probably eight seems like too little. We should ask our gay, gay beautiful mind. To d- <laughs> you think just gay drawings right? in the air? Just- I think eight is too little. I, I think, think eight's possible if the wieners are long enough. Yeah, I feel like those have to be like eight inches. Yeah. Yeah. Hammers. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we stand uh, penis to butt here? And if we can double that, then that should give us our answer. We have to be rock hard, though. Oh, I'm, how, we f- how, how are you guys right now? <laughs> <laughs> this seems like someone we can figure out at the live little stinker. Oh, November. this does. Yeah. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah, November 2nd, we're going to be at Helium in Philly for a live little stinkers. And and if you come, you can volunteer to get hard and fuck a guy in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> and be fucked. Ideally, you'd it would go all the way around to your own butt. Oh, that would be great. This is going to be like Mythbusters. Nope, Busters. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine like... This show's going on, and we got eight dudes fucking on the stage in a circle, and like two people walking off the street because they just wanted to see live comedy. <laughs> uh, that would be the ideal. 
<laughs> if we yes. could get at least two people to do that, I would be so happy. Uh, it said on the marquee that Booby Nub is going to be here tonight. <laughs> is he the late show? <laughs> no, this is actually Booby Nub. <laughs> 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 Jake, you still uh, thinking about it, Jake? Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. I, well, then you're gay. All right. If you've been thinking about it this long, you are fucking gay. You, you got to call your parents and tell them you're officially gay. Yeah, let's, let's get them on speakerphone. The Siri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> call Jake's in-laws. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Siri, can you also patch in Jake's job? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got seventeen. It. Seventeen guys. Yeah, seventeen these guys. Asians? Seventeen guys with fucking penises the size of your penis, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Small is what yeah. I'm trying to say. <laughs> this this thing has to jump a wall. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> gets the job done. When you come, do you yell Humpty Dumpty's broken again? <laughs> no, John, I don't. All right, well, think about it. I go, oh, thank you, Mr. Del Callo. <laughs> <laughs> Snap! You know, oh. from you, I'm not going to fucking tolerate this. He's back from the homosexual dead. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't your house. The only reason I don't fucking slap Mike's fucking teeth out of his mouth is because we're in his home. <laughs> Try pulling that shit in the studio, see what happens. Oh, man. <laughs> Jake. I am going to <laughs> fuck you up in the parking lot. <laughs> you film this. You film this right now. I wish we could put together a compilation of all the times we've mentioned John's mom's pussy. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't, honestly. And I wish no one as a fan does that either. If anybody that's a fan that wants to make a hundred bucks <laughs> put together a John's mom compilation. What if we send it to her on Mother's Day? Oh, God. <laughs> let's, let's not do that. <laughs> that fart hit me right in the nose. <laughs> you aimed it right at me. I booped you. <laughs> <laughs> Man. When's the last guy you booped? Last fella I booped? I don't know. My male dog. <laughs> does he does he do that gay shit or no? Yeah, I can boop him, but it's hard to get a boop without him licking your nose. So. Mm. You know, what would be a fun place to get a boop a funeral. <laughs> you can do anything there. You're like, I'm so sorry for your loss. You, got, you do your little prayer or whatever. Boop, <laughs> and just did like, he just boop, pop up. He just took a hundred dollars out of his coat pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have? Do you guys have anybody that you hate that is close to dying that we could fill their casket with gerbils? Hungry gerbils? You mean that like we could get close enough to the body and fill it with, mm-hmm. or anybody in the world? No, if like we got close enough and acted like we were grieving on the casket, lives. and we just had oh gerbils running out of our suit jackets, little PVC mm-hmm. sleeves. Mm-hmm. Oh god, that would be actually pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I hope that. I have it. One of the sleeves going straight up my asshole. But. Yeah, yeah, direct line. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't think anybody that's close to dying. I call yet. that the poo root. <laughs> 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 yeah, not anyone close to dying. Um, no, uh, I got a couple people that I wish were. I'm with you, so buddy. I could. I don't know how many relatives I have left. Let's count them. <laughs> All right, so it would One, take eight, two. <laughs> it would take eight relatives to fuck themselves in a circle, and I think I got. I don't have any more mom moms. I don't have any more pop ops. I have one aunt left, one uncle. Yeah, I don't have a lot left. <laughs> and they're not together, and they're not a couple. Are they you are. only counting just... uh, blood relatives, not married relatives? No, both. Dang. Yeah, you don't have many left. Not even enough to They're all still have around one circle fuck team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is sad. Mm-hmm. That is sad when you don't have enough relatives to do one circle. Mm-hmm. circle. You're what would that be called? The park, waiting for an extra. Uh, human. Oh, yeah. Human authentipede. Maybe that's where the fifth man came from. The terminology. Sixth man? Sixth man, yeah. 
What? Seventh man? <laughs> yeah, right. It's too hot for Jake to think. <laughs> oh, buddy. It never turned on. <laughs> I am on E, bro. Oh, boys. You ready to wrap it up? I, I wasn't even wrapped up to wrapped out. <laughs> I have to assume the listeners are ready for us to wrap it up. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. <laughs> Yeah, you've been out. You've had a fucking long day. You hardly got a chance to think to yourself before we had to start this drone. Yeah, I can't wait till my job's done, man. <clears throat> I hate having to walk into a fun podcast right from work. Yeah. I feel like I can never get my rhythm. Is there a, Well, you had it tonight, baby. You were. No. You were teaching me some. You guys some were. Shit. Teaching me all about your mom's pussy. Okay. There's right. another one for you. Thanks. Make for it $101. <laughs> <laughs> remake Thanks for listening you pieces of shit we're gonna remake 101 dalmatians 101 times we talked about <laughs> mrs del calo's pulalo so you came here right from work mm-hmm. damn you still work at john's mom's pussy <laughs> they're, they're hiring <laughs> <laughs> they're actually you know i take that back they're overstaffed right <laughs> I got cut loose. <laughs> they're hiring and they're overstaffed. Make up your fucking minds. I retracted the hiring. <laughs> and you get benefits? Yeah. <laughs> Netflix password. HBO Go password. <laughs> oh, if I see you on the fucking HBO Go list, I will I will drive right back over here. Yeah, I just I don't need HBO Go when you got Mrs. Del Calo Go. <laughs> I got everything in there. (laughs) (laughs) Number one squirting service. (laughs) Stop it. Stop this. Stop this now. Do you want to talk about my mom's pussy? Have you seen my mom? Get it out. Because as soon as we're in in the fucking studio, you're not allowed (laughs) to talk about this shit anymore. I think you would like my mom if you saw her. What do you mean? She had an affair with... uh... What's his name? Frankie Avalon. Frankie Avalon, Frankie Avalon mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Under the boardwalk. That's why every time Mike sees a surfboard, his fucking dick gets soft. <laughs> <laughs> but a buggy board gets him hard. <laughs> I actually shit my pants anytime I see a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you go to the beach so often. It sounds like it really fucks up your insides. <laughs> Oh, man, I lost my sunglasses at the beach about a month and a half ago. But Bummer. the solace I could take in that is that they ended up on a dolphin's face. <laughs> <laughs> and then that dolphin started smoking cigarettes. <laughs> now, that dolphin, jacket. Yeah. now that dolphin's <laughs> on perks. <laughs> Which pre-order is available. In two okay. weeks? Wait. Two oh, weeks? it is. Yeah. My Did book, uh, book All Perks, dude. is going to be available in a couple weeks. And uh, I'll give even more details as we get close. And man, that book is more and more embarrassing the more I write it. I'll be done writing in probably two weeks. And man, it is a joy and a horror to read and write that. What is the number of embarrassing Facebook posts that you're up to at this point? Oh, God. Uh, I would say. 550 oh my god you were prolific yeah jesus christ well, dude that's just 550 that i picked for the book hall of fame numbers dude <laughs> like there yeah, were... yeah so you didn't put every single fucking no there were a lot that were just completely incoherent <laughs> <laughs> that should be at least like a fucking a bonus <laughs> pamphlet or something yeah yeah there were some doozies out one of my favorites like you can tell the days where i probably got my prescription filled <laughs> one <laughs> one of those was I love trees and I would love to learn more about them. <laughs> Did you ever learn anything about them? <laughs> One of the easiest things you could have learned about that tree on your phone right that instant. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. <laughs> oh my God. So there's a lot of that. I, I don't know that I'm going to put all 550 in the book because the book would just be a fucking thousand pages well long. then it seems like there might be a couple <laughs> volumes which is probably even better yeah and i'm also going to do on perk streams for dad meat and uh go through a bunch of them there but yeah if you guys could please do me a favor i'm quitting my job soon and if you could buy my book 
my God. I would love to have my kids not wear onion sacks. And if you're Mike's boss, he's not quitting for another long time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what if she's a stinker head? <laughs> Stays with us the entire three hours. <laughs> um, that's so uh, impressive. I'm so impressed by the fact that you can not only repost these things that you see on your memories publicly. I mean, the shit that I posted 10 years ago makes me barf in my mouth. Oh, it's brutal. And it's like, at least you were positive. You know what I mean? What am I going to do? I mean, I can't go back and delete them. I don't even want to because. Well, obviously, you're going to make yeah. money off of it. <laughs> you got a book out of it. Yeah. I was thinking about this last night, but I was so productive on prescription painkillers. I know. It's really incredible. Dog. I read your fucking two books and a fucking blog. Dude, like, my, my blog, videos. like. I started a blog in like October of 2014, which was the end of the perk run. Like that fall into early winter was like the tail end of it. But I would wake up every day, still fucked up on perks, still eventually coming off of perks. But every day I would wake up at 5 a.m. and write a blog post before I went to work. That's insane. And it was, I was just, it was like a a rat hitting the fucking cocaine feeder bar. (laughs) People would read it, so I would keep writing them. And then, uh, yeah, I just stopped. I felt like Forrest. I just stopped running. I did it well, for like, yeah, you sobered up and you weren't fucking ridiculously confident and happy with yourself yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a vicious depression. And, uh, After perks? Or during? I was a few different elements that, that led to it, but that was one of them. And then I just stopped writing altogether and and I was really fucked up. It's, it's crazy that something that makes you look so sleepy made you so active. Dude, I like, I feel like, yeah, I had the opposite thing with perks that normally happens to people. Like, I could hardly sleep. Damn. And I would fucking, I would just fucking, I would, I would write things. Yeah. And it was, whether it was the book or the blog or, or just, you know, just random shit that I would keep in Word documents. Like, any fucking weird thought that popped in my head, I would try to develop. Like, I wrote something with... <clears throat> I wrote this, uh, I'll probably put it maybe on one of the Patreons, but I wrote a TV show pilot that Shaner did the drawings for. It was meant to be a cartoon. And it was loosely based upon the dogs that were talking to the son of Sam. And I read it, and it was like, and I like I liked it. And Shaner did these incredible drawings for each one of the dogs. So it's something that I think I'd want people to like to see yeah i want to see that yeah it was funny that sounds awesome yeah. that, that's right up the um stinkers alley too. yeah it is yeah i feel like that's like a something netflix could put out why don't we try to create it we got animators uh, that would be we great. could like set yeah. a goal i think so and be fun. Uh, sounds like a project yeah yeah that's a great idea but yeah shana really shana's like one of the most talented people on the planet oh God, and yeah. he is totally unassuming and it's just just acts like it's whatever he does that's exceptional he's just like ah, that's what i do yeah but when i told him i wrote this thing and i described like each character he's like yeah i'll figure it out and he just better than i could have conceptualized that that's awesome uh fuck you shane if you're listening suck my fucking dick (laughs) yeah (laughs) you talented piece of shit yeah what a fun time man I had a blast, mostly on perks. My wife did not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she yeah. hated it. Well, I'm glad you, uh, you you kicked it for her. Yeah, that was the right thing to do. Mm. And hey, it's still paying off in dividends. You know what I mean? I hope so, man. People yeah. buy this book, man. You got far really enough away happy. from it to not, you know, to not be super embarrassed yeah. by it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Seven years was the last time I took a painkiller. Seven years, goddamn. Was your belly finger getting a lot of attention during your perk run? No, dude. I had trouble maintaining erections. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. It, For some people, I know they have the opposite. Really? Where, like, they can have sex forever. But I, on, on top of having no sex drive, like, any time I would get a boner, it would be hard to maintain. Maybe that's why the guy was calling you floppy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did I fuck him in, 19, in 2014? <laughs> Did I fuck him in 1914, too? <laughs> you went over to his house to learn about trees. <laughs> <laughs> you just left with red wood. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck that guy's ass. Bloody gross. Man, what a great era that was. I, you know, uh, erotic for- film star Tracy Lords? I'm not familiar with her. I work. know the name. Yeah, she was. Um, 
she was one of the greats, man. She was prolific in the early '80s. She held my baby son. That's nice. Does he yeah. know that? I got a picture of it. Yeah. He's <laughs> keeping his wallet. She's one of the greats. <laughs> they hang her panties in the rafter. <laughs> but yeah, that was going going to meet her was a perk idea. And, and bringing your son was a <laughs> was a judge's idea. <laughs> she was she was super sweet, man. She'll hold you if you ask her. I'm about to put on a diaper. I got one in my back. Actually, I got three. Jake, I got a whole pack. I'll of probably need all the couch, three. Man. Yeah. <laughs> We're the patches thing together. Yeah, but make sure you bring your diapers to the studio. I will, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna give. For anybody that buys buys an on-perks book when it comes out, I'm going to send a few people a surprise diaper. Would you guys be willing to fill it if I mail it? Yeah, I'll do that. All right. I got to go right now. Just give me the box. <laughs> uh, I want to add one more thing before we go. When I texted you guys tonight because I thought I was going to be a little bit late because 95 was backed up, I thought I was going to shit my pants on 95. <gasps> oh, you got close. Uh, pretty close, yeah. You're still wearing the Jeez. same underwear you were in the car? I am. All right, so you made it. I did. You don't smell did like he? a stinky shit pants. It is, but man, it was it That's was backed up. Like stinky. Yeah, I, yeah, it's bad <laughs> right now. We we wrap up. Mike's like, all right, guys. Well, I gotta go. I gotta go to laundry mat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do what I'm about to do in my family washing machine. <laughs> all right, boys. Thank you for putting all up with all my sex question stuff tonight and <laughs> poopy stuff and pee pee and it was my stuff. pleasure. I'll bet it was. It was my anal pleasure. You were the one sucking it. Jake, thank you for sucking us off, too. No, I didn't suck anyone off. You screamed uh, <laughs> horny things into my pants. I did. I, <laughs> yeah, I did, I did do that. They are open. I, it's going to mess up my whole search history tonight. John, imagine having a dick so long that you can hang it out the bottom of those pants. Jesus. <sighs> Buddy. I would commit every crime. Mm-hmm. If I had crimes? Stealing. And cursing. All right. I would definitely do that uh, that King Kong crime where you climb up on the building and everybody could just see you wiggling. <laughs> Everybody's window? Mm hmm. I would be knocking out windows with that thing. <laughs> Everybody's window. <laughs> just dung hitting the glass. I think if I go hard enough and I hike these up enough, it still wouldn't reach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for joining us. If you're watching this on Patreon, thank you for becoming a patron. <laughs> If you're watching this as a free episode, I want to try to convince you to join us on Patreon. <laughs> if you go to patreon.com slash Snickers, that's L-I-L-S-T-I-N-K-E-R-S, you have full access to our entire catalog of full episodes, our live AMAs each month, our mini Snickers episodes, which we're due for one. Yeah. Guest episodes. Uh, we're going to do be doing a whole bunch of other weird shit soon. We're doing a book club meeting on September 27th. We're reading Chaos by Tom O'Neill. And um, yeah, we're just going to be doing more and more fun, fucked up shit. I mean, we got more than double the content that we put out for free every month behind the Patreon paywall. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. got a lot of stuff back there. And we're about to do a lot, even more, now that we're going to move into our new studio soon. So, buck, buck. Four bucks a month is a fucking bargain for the amount of shit that we're about to be putting out. And even if you don't want to pay four bucks a month, you could pay $40 for the entire year. And that'll get you access to everything. And on top of that, next month, we're going to Orlando, Florida to hopefully track down Casey Anthony uh -huh. and get Jake in the pool and get him to suck us with a snorkel on. God damn. I'm going to hire some lifeguards to protect me from you, too. Mm. Ah. <laughs> ah, no lifeguards where we're going. I'm turn that motherfucker into gay watch. But either way, join us on the Patreon. If you're already a patron, thank you. We love you. And uh, Jake will suck your dick if you provide your address and a self-addressed stamp envelope. If it's gay watching my Hamula Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> John, you want to add anything gay? Furman Electra. Nah. Oh, I like that one. That was a good one. Thanks. That's all I got. Bye. Later, guys. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>